Turning out that we're gonna have a very wet walk. But I came prepared. We have the small umbrella today. All right, today we're gonna to talk about uh, the permafrost thawing around the world and especially pay attention to it up in Canada because there's been some new information. There's massive amounts of permafrost thawing in Canadian North. Let's go look at some of what people are talking about is happening. As you can see, there are large pits opening up. These are up to 250 feet deep and over half a mile wide. They're only getting bigger as time goes on. These things are belching out massive amounts of carbon, both CO2 and methane. Huge amounts of spiking is going on and it's not looking good. Let's continue on. We've taken shelter down into the deep forest. Hopefully we'll stay somewhat dry, but it might be a little dark, <laughs> grainy looking. So the uh, NAS says that the northern permafrost, meaning Alaska and Canada, contains 1,700 to 1,850 gigatons of carbon, both methane and carbon together, which is very worrisome. Because that amount of carbon is twice the amount of carbon that is in the atmosphere today. Do you understand that? Twice as much carbon. This is why this is so important. The theory is if we go over 1,000 gigatons of carbon in our atmosphere, th that's the end of humanity. That's as high as we could possibly go and still live. The amount of permafrost melting in just Canada and Alaska alone is right now emitting 129 gigatons of carbon into the air every day. Earth has now accumulated 515 gigatons of carbon in its atmosphere. Remember, we can't go above a thousand. And as you know, we talk about CO2 and methane emissions all the time here, which are now going up faster and faster and faster. So Jim Bob gave us a link back on the uh, methane video, and uh, I have it down below, which explains why it's so important that we pay attention to methane especially not only just co2 but both methane carbon and the other greenhouse gases because this video down below in the link will tell you everything you need to know about methane after you watch that video and the other two I have up there one is uh, the first one is easy to understand the second two you need to um, maybe just watch it and don't don't worry about uh, um, understanding it all you can kind of get the gist of what they're talking about yeah, there's a lot of scientific words and in-house type stuff, so it's difficult to uh, understand, but you must go see. It's important to go watch that video, and then you'll understand why I have been so alarmed about what's happening to our environment. Well, the rain is coming down a little harder, and the wind has picked up, so I'll go right into uh, notes. And a couple notes, big, big items have been happening here. Uh, things are going to change. It looks like YouTube doesn't want my kind of channel on YouTube anymore. So I have done some research and found VidCom. Link down below. Please go check it out. A lot of YouTube creators are now going to VidCom. No, correction. VidMe. V-I-D slash M-E. As soon as I get my new channel up, I'll make a few videos and we'll uh, be making videos for both channels for a while. And then maybe I'll switch over to VidMe if it works out. If not, we'll stay on uh, YouTube. But right now, YouTube is really crapola. People are very upset with it. One nice thing about VidMe is that the comments are much easier to do. They're, they're right there on the channel that you're, uh, right there on the page, uh, see, right there on the video that you're seeing. There are comments, there's no bell thing, no complications. 
pretty straightforward and no ads for now. So go, so uh, I'll go up and uh, sign up, put a video up, and then I'll come back to YouTube and give you guys the link. I definitely do appreciate all the comments and the ups and the downs and the new subscribers. Though YouTube seems to let three or four subscribers come in and then they delete three or four subscribers. So uh, that's another reason I just want to get off YouTube. It's not, uh, you know, it's not friendly to, to, uh, to blogs and news and that type of thing. They just want silly, stupid, corporate type stuff. And that's not what I'm about, as you know. So, until next time. Oh,